Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot, when we will be getting the temperature of the food and clothing retailers with full year results from Marks and Spencers on Wednesday and Burberry on Friday. Now, already Marks and Spencers has had its knuckles wrapped for allegedly profiteering from the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, the business is selling hand sanitizer for £11.50. And on Discovery, it delivered its weirdest apology ever. The company said the sanitizers were initially priced at £15 by mistake. Even so, The Guardian says another brand's bottle of the same amount of hand sanitizer is advertised for sale at Boots for just £4.50. Well, maybe Marks & Spencers will be more socially inclusive with their sales. Not so, says the Mirror, which reports that Marks & Spencers is among a raft of major clothing retailers busy snapping up warehouse space to recycle this year's summer lines for spring 2021. So, retrospective is going to be the fashion style this time next year. I predict. However, billboarders say Marks & Spencer's delivery service Ocado may save the company's bacon. Now, for those of you who've been missing the excitement and the spontaneity of the football terraces, then I bring to you the world's greatest goalie ever. It's real dynamism, wonderful chance. You see another example of stay at home and you learn new skills, which brings me to Pets at Home, which is releasing its full year results on Thursday. As designated essential retailers, pet shops and vets have stayed open during the pandemic and Pets at Home said people had been spending more as pets played an increasingly vital role in our lives during the crisis. I really don't know what they mean. So to Burberry on Friday when the fashion retailer presents its preliminary results. Now, the Sunday Times has already flagged up that Burberry is set to join the ranks of big companies cutting dividends in the fallout from COVID-19. Now, if that's true, that would end 10 years of dividend growth. The luxury fashion brand is also locked in talks with shareholders over controversial changes to its executive pay scheme. Now for something different and one of the most watched stocks on the lse.co.uk platform, which is Greatland Gold. Now the shares have re-rated since January. The company currently has a market cap of around £330 million. Pounds. Well, the chief executive caught up with Donald Leggett to talk about the Haverian gold copper discovery in the Patterson region of Western Australia. What's so exciting about this opportunity is that we've we've clearly found a large mineralised system, a significant system. Uh, you're seeing the best grades in the Patterson. Um, uh, the CEO of uh, Newcrest uh, said, look, we're seeing 10 times the grades, uh, 10 times the grade at um, Javier on that they see it tell for itself. Um, but, you know, obviously the exci really exciting part about this opportunity is you, you, you found a significant mineralised system that just happens to be 45 kilometres away from one of the largest operating gold mines in Australia with a, a, a mill that's basically hungry for high grade feed. So there's a fantastic and symbiotic opportunity here for Javier on supply high grade gold and copper ore uh, to, um, to Telfer for hopefully many years to come. So this now sticking with Australian influenced shares on Tuesday, top of the leaderboard was Mosman Oil and Gas. Maybe something to do with the increase in the price of oil, or was it something to do with the fact that it was the day after the executive chairman's birthday? A belated happy birthday, John Barr. We want to know 
have you been treating yourself to some of your shares? And I mean that in a nice way. That's it for now. Stay well, stay safe and wash your hands. But not of me. I'll be back next week.